Hi boys and girls, this is Ms. McLean. Today we're going to use the 10 frame and the 5 frame <coughs> excuse me, to help us with addition and subtraction. Let's start with this 5 frame first. And boys and girls, as you're working on adding and subtracting at home with mom and dad, mom and dad, it is a lot easier if we put our um, addition sentences into story format. So instead of saying two plus three is five, give them a story. There are two frogs on the log. Three frogs join them. How many frogs are there in all? That way they can think about the numbers with pictures and make a connection that are easier to solve in their head. So essentially you're making a word problem for them. So I don't have frogs today, I have insects. So there are two insects in the garden. Insects are pesty. So I have look again and I see that three more insects are in my garden. Now I have one, two, three, four, five. Remember, if you are especially early counters, you want to make sure you're doing that one-to-one -one correspondent where you're touching each of the objects and counting at the same time. As you become better at counting, you're going to use your five frame to know if it's filled that it equals five. Okay, so boys and girls, counters at home could be like I have with these insects. It could be connecting cubes and these connect together and they work well with fine motors to increase your fine motor skill. They work well with two-sided counters. But if you're saying, I don't have those at home, that's quite okay. Because things that you have at your house can also be counters. They might be dry beans, pennies, toys, uh, Q-tips, noodles. So anything that you can tangibly pick up and touch can become a counter at your house. I'm sure you could find um, in any room something laying around that could be used as a counter. Let's try another one. I might ask it in a different way. There are, are four red beans in the bowl. I need to eat one more red bean. How many more would I need to eat five red beans? I know that one box is empty on my five frame, so I, as I, become, as I become a better mathematician, can see that I just need one more. But until then, use your counters to help. So I see I had one more red bean to make five. That's a way that you can use the five frame to help you add. Now, if we have a five frame that I'm subtracting, I also want to put this into word problem format. So I am driving down the road and in the bus lot, lot, I see five yellow buses. Two of those yellow buses drive off. How many yellow buses are left? There are three. Remember as I'm beginning to count, using my one to one, one, two, three. I can take away and I can add when I'm using my five frame. Let's switch to a bigger frame and let's use a 10 frame. Now with my 10 frame, I'm gonna use it the exact same way, but I have more space to use. So if I'm adding, I've got three red bugs flying around my head. They're driving me crazy. The next time I look up, I have four more red bugs flying around my head. How many bugs are flying around my head in all? When I'm beginning to count, I'm touching one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As I become a better mathematician, I know that five are on top and two are on the bottom. Five. Six, seven is my total number. So boys and girls, I don't always have to start counting from one. 
as I become more familiar with how many are on my 10 frame in the top row, I can start counting there. It's called counting on. I see that I have five, six, seven. Okay, so I hope that as you are adding and subtracting, you will use a 10 frame to help you. So let's subtract with our 10 frame. I'm going to use my counters again. Remember, it can be any counter that you need or can use at home. And put it in story format. There are six bananas on the kitchen counter at home. My sister decides that she is going to take three to school. She's going to share one um, with a friend, one with a teacher, and one for herself. How many bananas does she have now? Well, I know they started out with one, two, three, four, five, six on the kitchen counter. She's going to share three, so she's giving three away. One, two, three is what I'm taking away. How many are left? There are three counters left. Now, as I'm doing this, I don't always have to say one, two, three once I become a good counter. I can just look at that and see that there are three there. That's called subitizing. Boys and girls, I hope the 10 frame has helped and the 5 frame have helped for addition and subtraction.